Hi, this is Miss Nancy, and this is Brush and Sketch Draw a Zoo. Today, we are going to get our pencils and paper and draw a bird that you often see in the zoo. It's called a toucan. So go ahead and get a piece of paper, your sketchbook, some pencils, and we will get ready to begin. Today, I'm using my HB pencil for the light lines we will draw. And then I'm using a 2B pencil for the darker lines. You can use any B pencil for the darker lines, but if you only have one pencil, it's okay. Just press harder when we draw the darker lines. Now we know that all animals and objects and the things that we look up are made up of shapes. And so we're gonna start by drawing some shapes to help us draw a toucan. Are you ready? All right, let's go. The first shape we're gonna draw is an oval, and I'm going to draw it kind of in the middle of my paper, and it's going to be kind of a skinny oval. See how it looks like kind of an egg standing straight up. Super easy so far. The second one, the second shape we're going to draw is a circle, and I'm gonna draw it at the top of the oval that I just drew, and I'm gonna have an overlap just like that. See that great big circle right there? Great job so far. All right, the next line we're gonna draw is gonna start right here where that circle um, goes right through the oval. We call that an intersection or where it intersects. Okay, so I'm going to put my pencil right there and I'm gonna draw a line that just goes straight out and then curves down. See how I did that? And then I'm gonna bring that line all the way back to the circle that I drew. See how I did that? Pretty neat, huh? All right, here comes another shape. We're going to put our pencil right on top of this circle and I'm gonna draw another curved line that kind of looks like a circle and it just stops when it hits that line. Just like that. Great job so far. This is lots of fun. Okay, the next thing, the next shape we're gonna draw is a little tiny oval, kind of a flat squished oval, right down here. And then right beside it, I'm going to draw another one. I think you've guessed already that that is our toucan's birdie feet. Okay, now right beside this oval, this squished oval we just drew, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of goes straight down. And then right in the middle of those two, I'm gonna draw another one like that. And we're going to join them with a curved line that has a little dent in the middle. See how I did that? Great job. Okay, a couple more lines before we get out our dark pencil. The next one I'm gonna start right here, right where this oval meets this squashed um, oval. And then I'm gonna draw a line that goes straight out. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, straight out. And then at the bottom of that circle, I'm gonna do the same thing, straight out, straight out. Okay, a couple more lines. Now I'm gonna put my pencil right here below the circle and I'm gonna draw a line that kind of curves and stops and then it curves and stops. You see how I did that? Curve and stop, curve and stop. And then one more right here, I'm going to do a line that just curves and stops. That was kind of tricky. If you have to rewind that again, go right ahead and then you'll be able to get it just perfect. All right, we're ready for our dark pencil or just press harder with the pencil that you have. And we're gonna start by outlining this big circle that we drew right there. I'm gonna outline it pressing hard. And that is our toucan's eye. And so I'm gonna add a little eyeball, a little dot. My toucan's gonna be looking over that way. And then I'm going to trace over his beak. And so I'm going to press hard and draw over top of that line, the one that curved down, and then come back all the way like that. And now I want to make a smile on the beak. And so I'm going to come right to the point 
and I'm going to draw a line that's just a little bit above that one and then I'm going to stop before I get to the end. If you want, you can even make a curve up to go into a smile. Great job. Okay, now I'm going to trace this hump on the back and this is his other big funny eyeball. Now I'm going to have him looking this way so my bird has another eyeball looking there. Can you tell this is a silly looking toucan? <laughs> it really is. Okay, and now I want to add some feathers on the top of his head. So I'm just gonna put kind of a squiggly sprout of feathers, just like that, between the two eyeballs. Great job. Now toucans kind of have a dark color on the end of their beak. So I'm just gonna draw a line there that shows me where I will shade some darkness, a dark value into the end of his beak. Okay, let's go on to our toucan's body. We're gonna come down the side of his back, just like that with our dark pencil, and stop when we get to his birdie feet. And then I'm gonna stop for a minute and I'm gonna do these lines here because this is the stick that our toucan is sitting on. And so let's trace those dark, one, and then another one on this side. Great job. Now his tail goes behind the stick. And so I'm gonna trace this little line here, but then I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna trace the tail over top of the stick. I'm gonna come down like that, down on this side, and just make it look darker. And let's do his feet too while we're down here. And I'm gonna add some little lines to make it look more like birdie toes. See how I added little cur curved lines there to look like his claws are going over top of the branch. All right, we are almost finished. Let's come, let's start here under the beak and we're gonna trace this line that comes down his tummy and stop when we get to the feet. And then let's trace these curved lines that we did. These show us where his wing is and where the different colors are on his body. All right, now we're gonna get out our eraser if you don't have one, pause the video and run and get one. And we're gonna erase the lines that we didn't use. Some of these lines that go through the eye, we didn't use, we didn't go over them with our darker pencil. And then there's a couple in the beak here that we didn't use. And so I'm gonna get rid of those right now. And then I'm gonna take my 2B pencil and I'm just gonna kind of shade the areas of my toucan that would be a little bit darker. Now I'm gonna do it super fast because I don't want this video to be too long, but you can take your time. Maybe you wanna do it with markers or you have some colored pencils or you just wanna go real slow and careful with your pencil. And then I'm gonna do the wing this way so it looks more like feathers. And there you go. You've got a silly little toucan from the zoo. I hope you enjoyed drawing this. I certainly did. Go ahead and take a picture of what you drew and I'd love to see it posted in the comments below. Thanks so much and have a great day.